Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and in this video, I'm gonna do something different which usually don't happen on this channel. I am going to talk about a lens. Now the reason why I'm talking about this lens is because first and foremost I purchased it from my own money. It's not a sponsored video, the lens was not given to me by any company. I just bought this lens, I loved it and I want to share that experience with everybody else. First and foremost, I am no photography pro level. I'm no pro knows photos, although that's a great channel to watch if you are interested in photography, but I'm no pro knows photos. I'm just a regular person who clicks photos, make YouTube videos and know things one or two about the photography as well as video making. But again, don't consider me as a pro level expert. I just know things here and there a little bit that makes my workflow easier and definitely a good amount of knowledge is there with me. Also, since I'm not a pro, I'm also not those kind of person who are buying their first lens and trying to get into the photography. Just to give you one example, recently my 11 country long trip uh, where I took this lens with me, I clicked 35 photos there, I didn't click much, and out of that, 23 got featured on Pixels, and I'm holding over 20 million downloads on my photos on just Pixels, I'm on the other websites as well, and holding a rank of worldwide in 400 on the Pixels, which are pretty decent figures, not of the pro level, but still these are decent figures. So some of the lengths on the internet are very much talked and very much hyped. One of the example is 50mm 1.8, 50mm 1.4. Definitely these are amazing bokeh lengths, the greatest lens. One of them is six, uh, Sigma 18-35. Six, to 35. Very, very hyped lens, but this lens is an underdog. Means nobody's talking about this lens much, but this is one of the best lens and just one lens that you need for almost everything that you are doing right now. Previously, for all photography purpose, I was using this lens. No doubt, it's a very beautiful lens. Uh, by just looking at it, some of you might have guessed it. This is a very beautiful premium lens, but it's bulky. And for traveling purpose, this is not one of the idealists I was looking forward. So this time I thought, I'm gonna change my lens. And I came up with this new underdog, which is absolutely premium and just mind blowing. So this is Sigma's 70 to 50 constant 2.8 lens. What does that mean in, in terms of like regular people? In terms of regular people, this is a zoom lens, which means it's gonna go from 17 to 50 on a crop sensors. Again, uh, this is gonna multiply by 1.6, but let's not go much into that. Uh, the whole point and the whole idea about this lens is it's a premium quality built by Sigma. And of course, you're gonna enjoy every single bit of pieces of that. And the range 17 to 50 is gonna give you uh, enough of the space if you are on a closed space in a room like shooting this one. Or if you're traveling on to any place where you want to keep uh, shoot these uh, buildings, these portraits, this is just a versatile lens that can do all of it. Now, one more thing, this is a constant 2.8 lens. The constant 2.8 simply means it's gonna give you absolutely amazing bokeh that you're gonna absolutely love. Now, the bokeh is not gonna be as good as like 50mm 1.8 because you know we have 2.8 here, but again, this is one of the best glass that I've ever seen. And this is an underdog. The reason why I'm saying it because it's priced just like 27,000 rupees in India and of course the other uh, competitor they are definitely premium glasses but they are over 65,000 so if you are low on a budget like not too much low but this is a worth glass that you should buy. Now on to the little bit tech side yes the glass is absolutely premium there are no chromatic abrasions on that but on to the 17mm side if you're gonna click some photos there you're gonna definitely see a little bit of the fisheye side but that's nothing that cannot be fixed in the post and of course the color science and everything is just it just captures everything so beautifully. And of course, recently all the videos that you saw on my channel, the last couple of ones, are actually being shot from this lens because I loved it. And the versatility that you can zoom and still you get 2.8 bokeh is absolutely amazing. I just loved it. It's comparatively lightweight also so that I can travel wherever I go and I can still click amazing photos, make amazing videos. I just love it. Yeah, I know I sound a little bit of the fanboy for this video, uh, for this particular lens. Uh, but yes, uh, to be honest, I bought it from my own money by seeing a lot of YouTube reviews and all these other uh, reviews on Amazon. And I think I made a great purchase decision by buying this Sigma lens. Uh, but there is just one problem that I'm having with this lens. I first thought that this is the problem with my, my lens or my build, but it's a constant problem I asked with a couple of other photography friends and they said, yes, this lens is this issue. This issue is not something for clicking the photos. 
when you actually move this lens this wobbles a little bit I don't know if you can hear this or not but when you move or shake this lens a little bit it looks like that some of the glass element is just a little bit misplaced and it happens in almost every build and probably all the photographers that I talked about they saw that yeah it looks a little bit wobbly but it's purely durable uh, no problem in that so on a whole note if you're looking for one lens for making YouTube videos for clicking amazing photos and pretty much anything and everything then I would say a hundred percent go on this lens I'll put down the link in the description section uh, for a buy link if you are interested in buying some glasses and you're interested in photography now one more important thing before we end this video I would like to show you some of the samples of the photos that I collected from this lens of course these uh, photos are color corrected but they are uh, just original almost as much as they can be the, the Photoshop software didn't touch my any of these photos they are pure original in that sense but yes I did color corrected some of them in the Lightroom because sometimes you need punchy colors and all of that apart from that uh, nothing else touched my photos so now let's go ahead and take a look on to the photos that I clicked from this lens and only only and only from this lens. A uh, just quick side note in case you are interested in programming and all those stuff then only hit the subscribe button. If you are more over interested in these photography and stuff no I don't do that much on this channel. Uh, so no please don't hit subscribe for based only and only on photography that's not an ideal channel. Uh, probably want to hit something on to like Frono's photos or other hundreds of photography channel. This is more over a tech channel but sometimes I buy stuff so I review them. So only hit the subscribe if you are interested in programming and all those stuff. That's it and now enjoy the photos.